Friday Night Football, and it's the Dockers versus the Kangaroos. Hello, I'm Dennis Cometti. It's good to be back. Boy, did I miss it here in Perth. For this game, we find ourselves at Optus Stadium. Unpleasant humidity for this match. The players sweating like Marlon Brando eating Thai food. My ally in the box for this match will be Matthew Richardson. Welcome, Richo. Hi, Dennis. Tonight should be a great game. North Melbourne run onto the cheers of their fans. The batters look great as the players get set to run through them. Umpire tosses the coin. North Melbourne kicking with the wind in this opening turn. The opening siren is moments away and you can feel the excitement building. The first quarter officially started. To be prepared is half the victory in footy. Let's see who has come to this game with the right mindset. Hamlin looking to make them pay for that turnover. Tapped by Zebel. Clean tap by Ballantyne. Clean tap by Gore. Atlick with the tap, guided by Neil, delivers the footy with a beautiful drop pass. Low kick, marks. Valentine gets a less than pretty drop putt away. McDonald with the tap, the loose ball picked up by Zebel, sends the Sharon on its way. Roback with the mark, choose to kick it. Cunnington with the mark. Cunnington needs to do a little bit more work on his jumping. He can get some good height but it's the timing that's not quite there. Higgins goes for goal, misses for behind. North Melbourne played. Pierce to bring it in. He plays on with a little kick. Sends it on its way. Spilled by Walters. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. 30 metres from home. DeMont will avert his paycheck if he converts this one. Good start by North Melbourne. He's loving that replay. <laughs> and he's making sure his opponent knows all about it. He's happy with that effort, and so he should be. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Methodically, the umpire bounces it beautifully. Sanderlands, just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. Neil takes possession. Fremantle needs to do a better job and gain more clearances at the moment. They're getting absolutely smashed in the contest. It's really starting to show on the scoreboard. Williams slams the ball to his boot. That's a mark. 45 metres out. Shot at goal by Jacobs. He's missed it. North Melbourne by eight points. The defence are doing a decent job of making kicking out difficult, so I'd suggest he takes his time and just looks for the right option. Pierce picks it out on the full. Opportunity now for Hartung. This will certainly test him from this distance. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. He hand passes the ball, gets boot to high. Kirsten with the tap. Clean tap by Wright. Wilson feeling the pressure, gets the quick kick away. Fantastic goal by Kirsten. The Dockers slot their first one. Kirsten has so much potential, he could just be anything.
He'll kick. It's not a bad sort of a kick either. It's a goal. Celebration time after that one for Kirsten. The Ruckman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. Dork didn't even get close to that tap. He gets a kick out of the pack. Picked up by Neil. Sheridan with the bump. He picked it up off the ground. Wilson there to mop it up. Wilson gets the tap. Guided down nicely by Tarrant. Zeebel is able to squeeze a kick through the pack. Atley can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. He manages to intercept the bouncing ball. Rovat gets onto the ball. Tap. Higgins sharks the ball away. North Melbourne get the goal. The Kangaroos by eight points. The replay capturing everyone's attention. What a goal. Higgins is relieved to see that one go through. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Sandlin's nicely outclassing Gore. Jams it on the boot. Perfect timing from Bennett. Perspiring like a pudding in a pot as he lines the shot up. Gets boot to leather. Sheridan over the top. He steadies now in front of goal. 40 metres from home. He's kicking on about a 30-degree angle, which could prove challenging. That's a very well-executed goal. Sheridan getting his first right there. I'll put a cork in that goal. That's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. He loves it. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Sandlin's with a big fist on it. Langdon gets the ball. He gains possession. This could turn things around. Richo, what can we say about that attempt? Nothing, Dennis. No, nothing. Fremantle, no time to drop off. Less than a kick, the difference. Thompson is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. No one around troubling him there. McMillan puts his boot on it. He gets the upper hand. He boots it. Zeebel takes a contested mark. Puts boot to ball. Tarrant with good, strong hands. Tarrant sends one up towards the wing. He's no oil painting, but look at him climbing the pack like a pop-up toaster. A mark by Wood sends it on its way. Hartung has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Hartung is a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Pierce taps it. Good hand skills there. Hamling kicks it. Tarrant with real good use of the body. Bumps the big skin. He's no oil painting, but look at him climbing the pack like a pop-up toaster. Jams it on the boot now. Guided down nicely by Bennell. Tapped by McMillan. Takes possession. Tarrant gains possession through the interception. He gets the hand pass. Cunnington with the mighty fist. Good tap from Wood. Zeebel gets the tap. Collected by Williams. Good tap from Williams. Good tap from Hamling. He picks up the loose ball. He gets tackled as he hands it off. He kicks it. <laughs> I hope everyone at home is recording this match. I know it's illegal, but this is definitely a moment worth preserving. Higgins really wears his heart on his sleeve. He's loving that replay. <laughs> and he's making sure his opponent knows all about it. He's excited about that one. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Good bounce. Goldstein is incredibly competitive, and you can count on the fact that if he makes a mistake, apart from being dirty on himself, you won't see another one for a long, long time. Jacob spoots it. Good mark. Johnson sends the ball on its way. Hamlin grabs that one. 
kicks. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Valentine kicks out along the boundary line. Tucker takes the mark. What did you make of the first term, Richard? They're in front and they deserve to be in front. They stepped up in all areas and really made their opposition look second rate. Anything stands out there, Richo, with the stats? Both teams are sitting fairly even on the board in marking contests. Both teams near equal in terms of kicking stats. The Kangaroos quid 25 and Fremantle quid 20. It doesn't get much closer than that. Thanks, Richo. Second quarter, here we go. Develop the winning edge. Small differences in your performance can lead to large differences in your results. Mundy puts it on the boot. Taken by Bennell. He steadies now in front of goal. 65 metres out. Kicking from about a 30 degree angle here. Has it got the carry? Bennell, ambitious kick. I can't believe it. It's a goal. Less than one goal in this match. The Dockers still very much in it. The kick is about as straight as a shopping trolley, and it's a goal. Celebration time after that one for Bennell. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. The bounce straight down. Sanderlands is superb with his ruck work. Once his eyes are locked onto the ball, there's little chance he won't get a fist to it. gets tapped and the ball goes out of bounds. Guided by Sandilands, Sutcliffe gathers, puts boot to ball. Walters with the mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. Good mark by Ballantyne. Jams it on the boot. Tucker got under it. Gets boot to leather. No contest for that mark. A lovely drop punch. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. That was the peg. Tucker just has endless possibilities. I'm really excited to watch this kid grow. He taps it. Bennell takes possession. Bennell has got it. The Dockers confront. He's putting on a masterclass with goals like that. Very happy with that kick. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Sandlin's nicely outclassing Gore. Tarrant feeds it wide. Roback grabs that one. Kicks. Nice hands. 50 metres out, a 45 degree angle shouldn't be too hard for Higgins. Controlled by Spur. Spur throws the ball, free kick. Going for goal number one, pinpoint accuracy from Jacobs. That will settle his nerves, the first goal is always welcome. Jacobs has got good knowledge of the game and he can see the events unfolding in front of him, but he just needs to react a little faster. And that goal is right off the top shelf for him. Jacobs knows that was something special. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Dork knocks it down the field. The ball in the hands of Langdon. Cunnington kicks. Taken by Spur. Spur. He's creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Hand passes to the running man. He gets it under pressure. Right, kicks the ball. He grabs it. Gets boot to high. Marks. Slams it on the boot. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. 
Hand pass by Spur. Hamling with the kick. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Works it across the ground. Wood with the mark. Takes his time as he lines up the goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. 40 minutes from home. Jacobs shoots it. He's missed. Is that a brave attempt or a stupid attempt, Richard? Definitely wasn't brave. Pierce wears his heart on his sleeve and he just bleeds for this footy club. Nice bit of power then. A good contested mark there. He slams that on the boot. It's a mark. Langdon slams the ball to his boot. It's a mark. Neil kicks it. Valentine with good strong hands. Sends it on its way. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Gets boot to leather. Nice hands. Tarrant is really starting to get into the right positions on the ground. That's a mark. Puts boot to ball. No one around troubling him there. He slams that on the boot. Johnson didn't waste the opportunity. Takes possession. He boots it. Guided by Turner. Sandlin is able to grab it on the half volley. Ball up in the center square. Sandlin hits it. Pierce with the tap. He gains possession. Neil puts it on the boot. Guided by Tarrant. McDonald throws it, clear as day. Walters lines it up. A desperate kick there. Strong mark by Tarrant. Tarrant can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. Spur kicks it. Bounces favorably for Sheridan. Wright aims for his man on the ground. Here's a chance for Kirsten. He'll need his Saturday or Sunday best from here. Is it high enough, long enough, straight enough? The dock is in front now. Well, that's what we've come to expect from him. Fantastic goal. Kirsten Happy. The Ruckman giving each other the ice cold killer stare downs as they wait for the bounce. Sandlin's taps it. The bouncing ball is controlled. Valentine gets the tap. Deft touch from Tucker. Bennell has got a solid call which enables him to break through some tackles. I'd like to see him lift a little and then he will become truly impossible to tackle. Puts boot to ball. That's a mark. He puts power behind that kick. The mark will be paid. He steadies now in front of goal. A chance to add one more to his tally. Goes wide for a behind. Less than one goal in this match. The Kangaroos still very much in it. He may just play onto himself here. The options are few and far between at the moment. Jams it on the boot now. Pierce presents and takes the mark. Boots it. Well, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Door feeds it wide. Atlee got under it. Jams it on the boot. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Sandlins couldn't hang on to the ball. How did you see that last quarter, Richard? How you respond to the challenge in the second half will determine what you become after the game, whether you're a winner or a loser. Time to check the stats, Richo. Fremantle are dominating the scoreboard, but their stats don't reflect it. Enlightening, Richo. Well, I hope you enjoyed that first half. Back soon with half number two. Looks like the players are ready for this. Let's get started. Make sure your worst enemy doesn't live between your own two ears. Puts boot to ball. Nice hands. Kicks towards 50. Spurk looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Kicked by Hamling. Nice mark there. Keeps it close to the ground. A solid mark from Batley. Sends it on its way. 
Wood got under it. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. Higgins, he's a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. He's got a hold of that one. Sanderlands with a strong mark. Jams it on the boot. Valentine gets the upper hand. Gets boot to leather. Marks. Sends it on its way. He wins the contest. Kirsten from the borderline of his range. Not the easiest of angles, this one. He's taking the shot from about 30 degrees. Looks like we'll have a throw in. The Ruckman jostle for position. One down by Sandilands. Valentine gets it on the bounce. Well, some might call it smart. I call it a point. Fremantle by four points. Thompson looking for a lead. He kicks it to himself. Thumps the pigskin. A good mark under the circumstances. Don't take too long lining up for goal. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. Neil kicks. Bennell, the better man there. 25 metres out. Going for goal number three. He was celebrating the moment that left his boot. Fremantle with a handy break, leading the Kangaroos 38 to 28. Fennell, he's very loyal, but it's not that hard when you're doing what you love. I've got to say, that's even a better goal the second time around. You can see it on his face. He's happy with that effort. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. The bounce, laser straight. Sandlins with the tap. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Kicks it long. Nice mark there. Sheridan puts it on the boot. Solid as a rock, and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Neil's really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. Mundy with the shot. That miss is going to come back to haunt him. It's the Dockers with the lead over North Melbourne. Thompson to bring it in. McMillan marks it. A lovely drop pass. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Neil in no hurry as he prepares for the kick. 45 metres out. Neil kicks for goal. What a great goal by Neil. Fremantle starting to exert some dominance over the Kangaroos with a lead of 45 to 28. He's got the evasiveness and the flashy tricks of a star. I'll put a cork in that goal. That's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. Neil Happy. The Ruckman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. Sandlins aims for his man on the ground. Slams it on the boot. Nice hands. 35 metres out. An ideal position to be kicking from. Fremantle had one to their tally. Wilson getting his first right there. And they stretch out their lead. Wilson has the ability, I think, to be a 20 to 30 a goal season player. He's loving that replay. <laughs> and he's making sure his opponent knows all about it. His teammates rush over. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Both Rucks have a fair shot at this one. Dork nicely outclassing Sandilands. He collects the loose ball. Dork taps it. Batted down nicely by Pierce. A clean pickup. Who was that to? There'll be a ball up in the center square. Dork with the punch. Wood taps. Pierce sticks out his hands and collects the ball. Takes that one strongly. Pierce needs to work on his vertical leap because at times he can be found wanting when he's leaping for the ball. Neil kicks it. He gets the upper hand. 
He gets boot to the ball. Just wasn't able to grab it cleanly. He hand passes it. He kicks the ball. Controlled by Tucker. Going for goal number one. What happened there? Fremantle by four goals. Might have to kick it to himself. Taken by Wright. Wright kicks hard along the boundary line. And the mark will be paid. Jams it on the boot. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. That is the peg. Mundy winds it up, boots it. Marks. Wright is really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. Turner with good strong hands. He slams that on the boot. Tarrant marks it. He slams that on the boot. Zegel takes the mark. He kicks the ball. Gore takes the mark uncontested. Low kick. A great effort. Lining up the goal now. A risky proposition from here. He'll need a big kick to make the goals. 35 metres out. Higgins got a 45 degree angle. It's just a question of accuracy. Spurk with the tap. Wood takes a shot. He's having a ball, if you'll excuse the pun. Danger signs for the kangaroos. Oh, he'll be loving that goal when he sees it in the highlights package. Jacobs is relieved to see that one go through. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Goldstein with the tap. Pierce picks up the bouncing ball. Neil feeds it wide. Sheridan marks on the run. Puts boot to ball. Nice mark there. Kirsten might struggle for this distance. Going for goal number three. McMillan controls. Thompson picks it up. Gets boot to leather. The mark is taken by Clark. When you look at the set shots of goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. But North Melbourne forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Might have to kick it to himself. Good mark on the run. 30 metres from home. Going for goal number three. Kirsten with a great kick. That's number three. This kick has extended their lead. Lucky we have that goal recorded because it was first right. Very happy with that kick. All is in readiness. Umpire bounces the ball. Goldstein without a touch. The clearance by Sandilands. Hunter with the mark. Gets boot to high. Great mark under pressure. Richo, what do you think about that? Fremantle will be looking to close out this match ruthlessly and get a healthy percentage boost in the process. Time to check the stats, Richo. Fremantle and the Kangaroos are very level on the possession count, which reflects the evenness of this contest. Marks are fairly close on the scoreboard with Fremantle on 51 and North Melbourne on 49. Thanks, Richo.
After the break, the players should be eager to get started and finish the game with a win for their side. The game isn't over till it's over. It's a ball up. Sandlin taps it. He gains possession. I hope that's not serious. He looks to be in a lot of pain. That looks nasty. He'll be rushed to the rooms for medical treatment. Don't think, though, he'll be coming back. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Tarrant, he's really starting to get into the right positions on the ground. Williams being penalised there. He slams that on the boot. He gets it under pressure. Hill kicks it. Kirsten with a strong mark. 45 metres out. Kirsten drives the ball towards goal. So close, but just misses. Fremantle over. The Kangaroos by 26. Thompson waiting to bring it back into play. Plays on. Gets boot to high. Wright having no trouble taking that one. Jams it on the boot. Marked by Tarrant. Tarrant sends one up towards the wing. It was all his. Gore needs to do a little bit more work on his jumping. He can get some good height, but it's the timing that's not quite there. Sanderlands with great hands. He kicks the ball. He marks the ball. He controls the bouncing ball. Out of bounds it goes. The umpire will launch it in from the boundary. Ruckman hard at it. Clean tap by Sandilands. A favourable bounce. Going for goal number one. Valentine goes long and gets the goal. This one gives them an even bigger lead. That could be the final nail in the coffin. He's putting on a masterclass with goals like that. Valentine chose the goal umpire the right signal. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Here's the bounce. Sanderlands has the passion for this game, and that shines through every time he plays. Lining it up with the goal now. Bennell goes for home. The goal for the Dockers. The Dockers go really looking at goods with the lead over Kangaroos. That replay shows just how good that goal was. Bennell with the goal, and he runs back into position. All is in readiness. The bounce is straight up and down. One down by Sandilands. Takes control of the bouncing ball. There'll be a ball up in the center square. Good tap from Gore. Atley with the mighty fist. Pierce with the mighty fist. Sheridan taps. Great grab. Picks it. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Cunnington doesn't have the strongest marking hands in the league, but he's certainly very, very handy on the lead. Jacobs has to get this one right now. It's through for a point. North Melbourne trails the Dockers. Pierce waiting to bring it back into play. He misses the mark. Very quiet by his standards. He gets tackled as he hands it off. He shows the quick hands. Sandlin's with the tap. Collected by Hanley. Snicks the ball away in time. Quay delivers a nice bump for Gore. Valentine taps it. Pierce threading the needle right there. He spears the ball. Guided by Tucker. McDonald sends the ball on its way. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Sandlin's with the kick. Good mark by Cunnington. Cunnington can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. Rovat gets onto the ball. He gets a fist to it. The ball is scooped up. That's holding the ball. 
Walters drilled that kick in. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. Wins the hard ball. Higgins going through his routine. Unfortunately, they made the grass very short tactically this week. Is it high enough, long enough, straight enough? North Melbourne fans will beat the traffic home today. Pierce waiting to bring it back into play. Higgins takes the mark. 30 metres out. Higgins hammers the ball for goal. His aim was just off. The goal eluding them each time. You've heard the expression shooting fish in a barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in a fish market. Fremantle have been taking the time to size up the right option at the right time so they haven't been hurt on the turnover. And that's why they're on track to win this match. He plays on with the ball. Walters gets possession. Nice accurate handballing. It comes off hands. Cunnington slams the ball to his boot. Kicks it. No contest for that mark. North Melbourne haven't taken many marks inside their 50. They need to be more aggressive and create some room or they'll find themselves far too behind on the scoreboard. He takes a quick ballet break. Kicks. Marked by Cunnington. Penetrating hand pass. Jams it on the boot. Higgins with the mark. A 45 degree shot is not too hard. He just has to keep his cool. Jacobs couldn't keep his hands on it. Very quiet by his standards. He's heading for home. Goal to North Melbourne. Jacobs obviously not bothered by the pressure. Sinks that needed goal. There's one for the time capsule. Jacobs is relieved to see that one go through. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Here's the bounce. Sandlin's taps. Langdon picks it up. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. Nice contested mark by Hill. Kicks. Well, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Kirsten will need to pull something special out here. He gave it a crack, but it sailed wide of the goal. The dock is by five goals. He's searching for his teammates. Bell marks, lining up the goal now. Not the easiest of angles, this one. He's taking the shot from about 30 degrees. Fremantle with a handy break, leading North Melbourne 74 to 43. Not much on offer for Thompson. He decides to play on. Sends it on its way. Clark has it. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Listen, here's the thing. This game was over before it began, and I don't think there's anything further I can add that will shed light on this outcome. Very one-sided. Richo, how did you see their performance in today's game? Grass grows. Birds fly, waves pound the sand, and the Dockers beats teams up. Final scores are 74 to 43. Well, that's all we have time for. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Richard. It's been my pleasure, Dennis. We look forward to having everyone back soon.